the formidable robot. June 12, 2009 was the time of the year in the United States where television stations across the country were required to convert their broadcast stations from analog to digital. This process has been done in some countries earlier than 2009, starting in 1996 in the Netherlands. This progress of digital television transition was eventually completed in the US after June 12, 2009, while some analog stations remained until the 26th of the same year. However, when television stations in America announced their process of switching to digital, an unknown group of hijackers took over a few stations in a few cities in the country during the final minutes of the following known stations that were targeted by these hijackers. When viewers were tuning in to see these stations cease their analog transmissions, they were suddenly greeted with unnerving visuals that were followed by an unnerving background audio. This left many people panicked and scared after witnessing these intrusions. Due to the hijackings only taking place in small parts of the cities where the targeted stations broadcasted, and because these stations failed to give out a proper explanation to this occurrence, this led to this incident falling into obscurity for a few years. A handful of recordings of these hijackings do exist, however they've never managed to see the light of day until recently. It isn't known how many stations were targeted by these unknown individuals during that day, but as of today, four different recordings of the following hijackings were resurfaced. These are the following recordings. Recording 1, WFTV9 Orlando, Florida, June 12, 2009. Following the airing of a Walmart commercial, WFTV resumed their regular schedule to digital televisions. For the analog to digital transmission, the screen stays on the WFTV logo with a voiceover explaining that they are transitioning to digital television until the signal cuts to static. After a few seconds of static, different visuals appeared which showed an image of a piece of paper with a drawing of a sad face accompanied by the word, nothingness, taped onto a wood wall. After a few seconds of silence, a humming sound begins to play in the background. It stays like that for a few seconds until the signal cuts out, returning to the original signal it was on before, continuing to its final seconds of the analog to digital conversion until the transmission ceases. Recording to KYWTD CBS Philadelphia, June 12, 2009. Following the airing of an Ericsson retirement commercial, the station cuts to an original W3XE test pattern, with a voiceover announcing their switch to digital. When a still from a Zappos commercial appears, the signal gets interrupted by static. After 4 seconds of static, a different transmission appears, which shows a low quality black and white photo of a person making an impossibly wide open smile on its face with its eyes being nothing but pitch black in total darkness, accompanied by the words, don't be scared, right next to the figure. Crunchy distorted static can be heard while the visuals stay the same until the transmission ceases to the KYWTV analog transmission. The pattern was displayed on screen for one second after the intrusion until the image cut to the CBS logo, with the text goodbye below, before the transmission ceased. Recording 3, WTVJ6 Miami, Florida, June 26, 2009. As Bob Mayer gives out a brief history of WTVJ6 and then announces they will be switching to digital in a few minutes, the signal briefly cuts to static where another transmission was made. It showed low quality black and white footage of an unknown person staring directly at the camera while grinning, to which a muffled and distorted voice over says the following. And now ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. The figure then stumbles down off screen which then fades into black and white footage of the American flag waving as a distorted sounding national anthem plays in the background. It then cuts to the WTVJ transmission, and continues on like nothing ever happened. After the incidents, the stations that were targeted by those hijackers never gave out an explanation to these eerie transmissions. The perpetrators of this incident were never identified nor caught, which leaves us questioning if this was a twisted prank or something else. By the way, fuck Rintu's Rampage.